goodies welcome back to my channel sorry I have been MIA but I have been really busy with a lot of things going on in my life right now but anyways um, moving on so today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on um, a picture that I had put on Facebook with my gold golden orange glowy smoky eye um, makeup look so I already did my eyebrows and I already primed my face with the Maybelline Instant Baby Pores, um, Instant Pore Eraser Baby Skin. And I already um, did my eyebrows using the NYC, I mean, I'm sorry, the Wet n Wild Brown Pencil, but I don't do it with a pencil. I do it with um, an eye, eyebrow angled, small angled brush. So moving on from there, um, the concealer that I used was the Instant Age Rewind um, Eraser, Dark Eraser and Neutralizer. So right now for my foundation, I am going to be putting in the Revlon Colorstay Combination Oily 330 Natural Tan. This is a new foundation that I recently purchased and I'm testing it out, trying it out because... I've been with the L'Oreal and the uh, 3-in-1 CoverGirl and I really want to try something new. So yeah, I'm going to be trying out that foundation. The brush that I will be using is an Airbrush Complexion Perfection number 115 in it Cosmetics from Ulta. Um, I'm going to set it. The I'm going to spray some setting mist. Um, this is the Hard Candy Fast and Fabulous Setting Spray on the brush. And I'm gonna be applying that on my face and it's so hard to um, pick out your skin color just because you're there at the drugstore and you're like opening everything or testing it out because I don't like to pump it like if it has a pump I don't like to open it and pump it up I like to like twist the cap and open it like the other way so the pump won't be used just so I can dab a, a little bit on my hand and um, test out the color so I already blend out the foundation I recently purchased this brush about two weeks ago and like I said before my previous videos that I did have my beauty I did have another brush that was kind of like this from Mac and I was so in love with that one before the beauty blender ever came out to be big and this kind of reminds me of it so I found a brush that's like bringing me back like good foundation like makeup um, like making my skin kind of flawless I know I've been breaking out you all like with the Milani I had been using this for about two weeks and I started to break out and I really love it because it covers and it's really good but I guess my skin was so used to the infallible one that when I switched over it kind of like reacted to it so that sucks because I really liked it. So, yeah. Okay. So, uh, moving on with the eyes the concealer, I'm going to be using the same one in Neutralizer, the Age Rewind Maybelline. I'm going to apply that, doing like a V shape. I like, I've been using the light pale one, but I finally found like a yellow one. And it reminds me of the physician formula so usually when I do go I put them on my forehead pretty much where you see usually when I do go to the store like I look for a yellow concealer especially the the age rewind one and I never seem to find any or it's always like there's never none so I I have to pick either the darker one or the lighter one and I like my eyes to be bright under there so I have to get the light pale one but this time I found that neutralizer one and like I love it I love it I love it a lot <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and blend out my brush with the concealer there you go I think okay so for primer for the primer Primer for my eyes, I'm using a sample. Um, I recently purchased the Urban Decay 1, 2, and 3. And I got these samples inside them. And there's like four of them inside them. 
as you can see this one I use the original one and I'm already on the Eden one the original one to me it's really thick um, I'm starting I really like the Eden one I feel like it's too uh, it's not too thick it's not too um, thin it's like perfect and I don't know my makeup feel, it stays like on with this primer so I'm thinking about purchasing the bigger size so I'm gonna go ahead and put the primer on my um, posh double ended or double sided brush the concealer and foundation I'm gonna use the foundation part since it's really small I'm gonna put that primer on okay so with I'm gonna let that dry so with this eyeshadow makeup look I'm gonna be doing I will be using my Too Faced Semi Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar and it smells so good but yeah these are all the colors so while that um, primer dries I am going to be using my Pure Cosmetics double sided um, brush using the fluffy part and I'm going to go in with that color peanut butter which is kind of like a f orange um, brownish color which is this one right there beautiful color so I'm going to go and apply that on my outer crease outer corner as a transition color build it from the bottom kind of and then um, just drag it up go like I started on my like in the middle so I'm just gonna bring it up just to bring that color close to your um, under bra highlight and make it more lighter So I'm just working it up so it can be more lighter. Okay. So for the highlight, I'm going to be going in with my e.l.f. Um, lip Define brush. But I use it as a highlighter brush. So I'm going in with that color Butter Pecan. Which is kind of like a light goldish color. So I'm going to apply that under my bra as a highlight. And in my inner teardrop, I'm like trying to like. So for the eyelid color, I'm going to be going in with the color Caramel, which is like a bronze kind of color, like a penny, like that copper, a bronze copper color, that's how I can explain it, the color. So that's all over my eyelid. Okay. So how it's looking so far. So for the inner crease or outer crease or whatever it's called. On the outer crease. Where am I? I'm having brain parts. Okay. So I'm going to go in with that color Truffled, which is a dark brown color. Just a little bit. And I'm going to apply it, apply it right on my outer crease. And what I am doing is I'm dabbing it in the outer crease. And then I'm doing swiper motions going inwards just so it can be darker in the outer corner but kind of 
paid out in the in the you know what I mean you know what I mean so that's how it looks so far so going in back with the pure cosmetics double ended brush I'm going in back with the color peanut butter that we use to have the transition color and I'm gonna um, this is where I put that color truffled but I'm gonna be I'm gonna put it right in the middle of of the color if that makes sense and I'm gonna do swiper motions and then go in the front and from there and then circular motion swiper motion circular motion swiper motion that's my technique of blending so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye did on the other eye no lie you guys this is my third time recording it just because my phone doesn't have a lot of memory <laughs> and I have a lot of pictures of my kids so I had to try to make it shorter. So going in with the Cody Original Formula Airspun Translucent Extra Coverage. And I'm going in with the Real Techniques Beauty Blender. Um, Beauty Blender. And I'm going to go ahead and apply where I had my concealer. I'm going to use that powder to set that concealer. And then uh, we can get going on, we can get going with the contour. So I'm pretty much going to put this powder kind of where I put the concealer on my forehead, under my chin, my nose. So yeah, that's how it looks. So I'm going to let that set. I'm kind of cleaning it up so I won't look. So going in with the contour, I recently purchased this Remo Natural Bronzer um, in color Sun Bronze, which it's not matte, so just a heads up, it's not matte, it has a shimmer to it, but if you like shimmer like me, then it has like a brown grayish undertone, I don't know if you can see it. So I'm going in with the Posh Double Ended Powder and Blush Brush. I'm going to use the blush part. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. Um, cheeks. This is what I use to contour. Um, I haven't really tried that cream one. Hopefully I will so I can make a video on it. But as of now, I just use... Powder. So I'm going to go ahead and put that under my jawline, kind of to um, make my face not look round as much. So I like to put it on my forehead. I feel like I have like a heart shaped hairline. I don't know if you can see that, this bump right here. So I kind of follow my hairline with circular motions I got a new phone so hopefully it's more clear when you see it and I kind of like to put the bronzer as a blush too just because like I said I'm doing an orange bronzy glowy look and I'm going to put some on my nose, too. Okay. Moving on. Going on with the highlight. So, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Candle Light um, Glow. And this is in Rosy Glow. And these are the colors. I recently also purchased this. I'm going to be using um, this lighter side. And you can see that beautiful glow so I'm going in with an elf fan brush you can get these anywhere CVS, Walgreens, Walmart local drugstores they usually run from one to three dollars I don't know if they saw the white ones but 
I know they have the black ones for three dollars. So I'm gonna put that. As you can already see that highlight. And I'm gonna put some right above my eyebrow. That beautiful highlight. And on my nose, of course. And the center of my lips. And this is just to give it an illusion where your this part right here make your lips look bigger or fuller. I applied that off camera. Okay, so for blush, I know I use the bronzer as a blush, but I'm gonna go in with Milani Baked Blush, um, an 08 Carolina, which is like a, an orange kind of color, orange pinkish. So going in with a blush, any blush brush, I'm just gonna put a little bit since I already have that contour popping out more you can see so going in with the powder brush you don't have to do all these steps you don't even have to add blush but if you want to add just the highlight and the bronzer it works good either way so just with the regular brush I'm just gonna use that without putting any powder or anything and just blush and just blend out the bronzer the highlight the blush kind of um, not making it look Trying to like smooth it out. So that's what I'm doing. So I won't look too harsh. Just blending it pretty much. So that's the whole highlight, contour, eyeshadow look using the Too Faced um, Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar. So going in, as always, I use the All May Look It Eyeliner. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that off camera. I already applied the eyeliner and the lashes that I will be using, they are the Ardell Glamorous ones. Uh, let me see if I can. They're the Ardell Glamour 113 in black. And I'm starting to love those. I used to use, well, I still do. But the Ardell um, 117, the natural blacks. But these are really gorgeous so the eyelash glue that I used was the dual adhesive in clear so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that I will do a video soon on how to apply the lashes just keep in mind everybody has their own techniques um, so hopefully one of you subscribers or watchers will learn something and then you know once you pick up make it your own like that's how I learned like I would see it on YouTube and then like I came up with something faster and easier for me so yeah before I forget I'm gonna go in back with the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar and peanut butter and I'm gonna go in with a smudge brush this is the equal to ones it's really really small um, so I'm letting the eyelash glue dry so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that right on my teardrop under my teardrop kind of just to kind of give it like that smoky eye No. can see it okay and then going in with that elf brush again that I used to put the highlight I'm gonna go in with that color butter pecan and then just bring it towards okay so the mascara that I will be using is where are you The Maybelline last uh, Maybelline New York last sensational the luscious full fan effect so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that mascara on top of my eye on the top lashes and bottom lashes No. 
let's see. Hmm. So, anyways, yeah. Going on with the lips, the last and final thing. This is the L'Oreal Color Richie and Crocky Caramel. Or Toffee to be. One of those colors. Which, there is a swatch to it. It's like a lighter... Like a grayish brown color. And sorry that I did this video in a hurry. It's just that, like I said, I don't have that much memory on my phone. And it only lets me do it a certain time. Plus, I talk a lot. So, going in with the new um, Hard Candy Velvet Mousse in color Daffod Daffodil. So... Oh. There's six of them. I only got one. I got the, the tan brown kind of natural color. Just because I wanted to test it out. But these past days that I have been wearing it. It's moussey texture. It's very creamy. But it does kind of in a way. Dries matte. Like after a while. So. I don't know. I guess I'm going to have to go back and get the rest of the five. They're six bucks each at Walmart, so an average price for lip glosses and lipsticks. So, yeah. And this is the final look. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I am so sorry that I did it in a hurry. But if you enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And my next video, guys, I will be doing an eyelash tutorial. So keep posted on that. And yeah, I guess I, I'll see you guys next time. And bye, beauties. Is the final... Lips and the glow. Bye.